What's going on guys, Shonen Express here, delivering to you my return to sender video on Hungry Joker. <laughs> Hungry Joker is an extremely interesting manga. Its style is extremely unique, and in fact, if it wasn't for Black Clover, the other series that Yuki Tabata wrote, it would be stylistically totally unique. This art style gave a feel to this manga that, in my opinion, helped its main themes. The plot itself was interesting, full of twists and turns and mysteries waiting to be solved. Characters were fun and interesting to be around. Specifically, the main character, Haiji, was a new kind of character. In fact, as a main shonen protagonist, he felt very refreshing. Maybe most of all, the power system is one of the most unique I have seen in all of manga. It is incredible that Yuki Tabata was able to think of major moments of scientific expansion and come up with a power system based on that. With all this going for Hungry Joker, why on earth was it cancelled after only 24 chapters? After a careful look at this manga, I feel that I've come to a decent conclusion as to why Hungry Joker must be returned to sender. The first bit of information that will be helpful to us is to look at the table of contents rankings for Hungry Joker during its run in Shonen Jump. I put together this graph that shows both the chapter number and the weekly table of contents ranking for all 24 chapters. For those of you who are unaware, in Weekly Shonen Jump there is a survey that gets sent out with the magazine. Fans then send back that survey telling the company their top three favorite manga that week. Although the actual ranking numbers are hidden from the public, usually the table of contents is a good representation of how the manga did the previous week. So, looking at this chart, we see, first of all, that chapter 1 was in the number 1 spot. This is common for new manga. For example, last week, Mission Yozakura Family was in the number 1 spot because it was its first chapter. So, we can disregard this number from our list. After doing that, we see the first major dip, is coming from chapter 7. Now, chapter 7 is an extremely cool chapter. Alan Blackman, who may be one of the coolest characters in this manga, fully shows his fighting abilities, and they are really cool. I think this was probably just a case of readers not sending in enough surveys, and so I think that we can disregard this chapter as having any significant impact on the direction of the story. Going back to our chart, we see the rankings quickly come back from this sudden downturn. However, the next downturn will be what takes out this manga. After chapter 12 is where we see these rankings take a sudden and abrupt downturn that they won't ever recover from. I believe that mainly this is the result of the Labyrinth of Fog arc. So far in this story, most of the chapters are relatively standalone. They introduce new characters and new themes and move the story along individually. The Labyrinth of Fog is really the first time that Tabata attempts to create a multi-chapter arc that isn't solely combat-based. Unfortunately, this arc is the least interesting part of the manga. As a result, I think many fans stopped putting Hungry Joker as one of their favorites simply because it was boring to them. Now, there are a couple of turns later on in the chart that show the manga getting better, but I think that this is due to what happens after chapter 15. I think that before chapter 15 was written, the editors told Tabata this manga will be cancelled. I say this because it is in chapter 15 that he begins to look at the story on a much bigger scale. Unfortunately, he does not have enough time to fully realize what he wanted with this manga, but it's clear that he begins to look at the bigger picture after chapter 15. So now that we've seen the numbers, what is it that killed Hungry Joker? You could say it was some piece of the story or narrative issue, but honestly, I think what ended Hungry Joker is the impatience of its own fans. Hungry Joker is an interesting story, but unfortunately, one that was never fully realized, mainly because it was never given the chance to play out as Tabata envisioned. I think during the Labyrinth of Fog arc, people became impatient to see new fight scenes and new powers, and thus, they stopped reading Hungry Joker. Hungry Joker is a perfect example of why the reader survey formula used by Weekly Shonen Jump kills certain stories that have great potential. Unfortunately, Hungry Joker simply in trying to create a better narrative lost some of its readers and thus the support of Weekly Shonen Jump, and that is why it needed to be returned to sender. Now, thankfully, Yuki Tabata is writing another manga, namely Black Clover. This is currently doing really well in Weekly Shonen Jump. I believe that he was able to take the best parts of Hungry Joker and combine it with a fresh take on some old shonen tropes to create a manga that is, in my opinion, very well done. 
Specifically, I think he used his amazing skill of coming up with team-based attacks and transferred them into Black Clover. I think that he made his power system a little more generic so that it was easier for him to come up with new powers and new creative ways that they could work together. From all of that, it's clear that Yuki Tabata took what he learned in Hungry Joker and applied it to his next work, Black Clover, and I'm so thankful that he did. So that's all I got for you guys today. Thanks so much for watching this video. As you can tell, I really like Hungry Joker. I would encourage you to read it. Um, if you're someone that is disappointed by, we'll say, rushed endings, then, you know, be aware it's a rushed ending. But I really do think this is a good manga. It's only 24 chapters long. Give it a read. Um, but for now, that's all I got for you. If you liked anything I had to say, please like this video. If you have anything to say, please leave it down in the comment section below. I'd love to talk with you about this manga. Like I said, I really like it. So I'd love to be able to discuss um, things about Shonen Jump or Hungry Joker specifically. I'd love to talk about that in the comment section. But like this video, subscribe to my channel. I bring you videos every single week, both a special delivery and my weekly manga rankings on Thursday. Um, so with that out of the way... Thanks so much for watching. This is Shonen Express, signing off.